Hello, everybody. Sorry about being a few minutes delayed there. We originally planned to uh, do this at 8 o'clock today. I'm just going to check the audio, make sure I'm coming through all right. Sounds like I am. All right, anyway, we have some technical difficulties as the computer that I originally intended to launch this live stream with, uh, after doing the 15-minute countdown, basically died. <laughs> so. That was fun. So about eight o'clock scrambling to get a different computer set up to be able to do the stream. We got that all handled, rescheduled for nine o'clock, and now here we are. So very excited today. Our last week's live stream, we ran into some difficulties with our new 3D printer. Let me uh, go ahead and turn off the preview here. Sorry. Anyway. Like I said last week, previously on DIY Dive, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the camera here over on the side. So like I said previously, we had some difficulties. Sorry about adjusting this with our new Creality printer. We did a test print. As you can see, it, uh, it quote unquote printed, but the layer height wasn't right. I didn't get the first layer to adhere correctly. I had all kind of troubles. So I did some adjustments. I tried it again. And basically by the end of the stream, we had not successfully had our first print, not to mention um, yet successfully had the dual extruders in alignment to make sure that everything was going good with that. So um, with all that done, I spent a week doing a bunch of research on that particular model. Um, and since the CRX, which is the actual uh, 3D printer behind me that we're dealing with, is not uh, it's a it's not a production it's not a production model. It's like a, I don't know it's a it's a, it's a non-production model. So currently, it's only available I think in in the European Union, in Europe. Uh, I know it's sold out in Canada and the U.S. Um, when I bought it, I knew that it wasn't one of their production models, but you know I wanted to try something kind of on the cutting edge. And so uh, that's kind of what we've done. Now, uh, during the week, I learned that many people with the CR10s and the CRXs uh, find that the build plate uh, may not be level, you know, anywhere near level from the factory. And so you should check all that. And I basically acquired a device, which I'm going to use to basically make sure that that happens. Um, we're going to measure the levelness. So the plan is to measure the level of the... Sorry, I'm here alone today. I don't have any helpers to help me. The plan is to measure uh, the levelness of the metal bed underneath. Check and make sure that's all level. Then we're going to measure the actual glass. Make sure that's all level. Um, if there are any indiscrepancies, we have aluminum tape, which is very thin, that we're going to use to sort of prop up any places that are shallow. We're going to make some marks and things and do that. And in order to do that, I needed to have a way to attach this particular measuring device to the print head, <coughs> to the hot end. And so I designed and modeled and 3D printed a cool little design that looked Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me get some water. So I modeled a cool uh, 3D print that looks symmetrical here, as you can see that right there. That is all space for the this to sit in. And I'll kind of show you this whenever we get on to the, the actual thing. Problem is I wasn't able to, as you can see, you can see my design engineering flaw. Can't put it in there. So I chopped off the legs or little arms that were supposed to hold this down because I didn't want it to pop up and still was not able to get it in there. So, okay, back to the drawing board. <coughs> My solution was to just design two little columns that had a slot all the way down for this to flow in. And I will uh, transition back to the close up here was to basically design something that had a slot all the way down and then also like a little cotter pin type of a mechanism. And this way I could put it on either side. 
you can see that falls in there very nicely. And then you're able to uh, put this pin in to make sure it's secured and it doesn't come out. And then it's very secure and we can get accurate readings. So we designed this. And this is basically designed to go up over the print head. So it's going to mount. Um, I'll show you where we're going to mount it. And we're basically going to use that to do some measurements and figure out what's going on and make sure all the awesomeness is happening. So with that in mind, I'm going to get the 3D printer up here now. We're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I suspect that whenever I do this, it's going to make the camera angles all weird because the 3D printer is like two foot tall, but you know, it takes up all this space here. So camera angles are probably going to look pretty funny, but let's see what we got. See what we can do. Oh my goodness, it's a beast. All right, I think I'm going to switch to our overhead view. And again, sorry for talking about talking this through, but uh, I don't have anybody here to help me today, so I'm running the whole show. Anyway, so here we are looking at it from overhead, as you can see. Um, during our 3D print, don't know if you can see right here, but we, we basically put a real big gouge in the bed just as we were leveling it. So um, the idea today is we're going to take off the glass plate and we're actually going to check the aluminum bed underneath. That's what we're going to start with. We're going to make sure that that's flat. So set that off to the side. We're going to check this. We're going to make sure that this is flat and we're going to check it everywhere we can check it. And then anywhere where it may be a little low or a little out of alignment, we're going to put down some aluminum tape to try to make sure that we can get a flat measurement across the entire surface. We're also going to check the, uh, we're going to check and make sure that the gantry is actually level. That could be a problem as well. And we're going to check that this is set correctly. Our Z-stop is also set correctly. So there's basically a whole bunch of things that I'm going to have fun testing and validating in real time here on this stream with you all. And if you have any suggestions, uh, if you are a more experienced 3D printer person, uh, I'm happy to take any suggestions you might have in chat, but that's basically my plan. And then we're going to try to do that first test print of the Benchy, get it going successfully. And then um, once we have that going, once we have the uh, Benchy successfully done, then we're going to try to print something more interesting with both colors. So, but before we get to any printing, we have to do um, some installation of this thing here. So, <clears throat> I'm going to set up the camera angle to be able to capture that. Excuse me. <coughs> One second, I'm going to mute my mic so I can cough. All right, <clears throat> and no, I don't have COVID, but uh, I've had like a weird dry throat for a couple of days now. All right, so to do this, let me switch. Let's switch to that. Nope, not that angle. Sorry, everybody. I appreciate you guys all. So we're gonna switch to this angle there. That's the angle we wanna show you. So this mechanism sits up and over everything and goes into these two screw holes here, which I'm going to move the camera up here so that you can see a little better. Give me one second. So, so here's our normal, here's our normal hot end as it comes from the Creality factory. I did 3D print this thing, which was going to be a thing that, that went over it and the fountains mounted on the outside of, and I was going to have a little mechanism up here to try to attach this thing. But I ended up scrapping that whole idea, although this is a cool model that I found online. I'll put a link in the final description. But uh, then I said, no, I'm just going to design something that is custom made for this tool. And I did all the measurements, and I'll make those uh, plans and stuff available online in case anybody else wants to emulate it. But uh, yeah, so you pull that out, 
and you're able to take this out. So we're going to get this mounted onto the printer right now. That's the first step. And to do that, I need to get a uh, hex wrench. So I'm going to go do that. So I'm going to go get a hex wrench real quick, and I will be right back. 